Introduction I will draw some shapes on the blackboard. You have to tell me their names. This is a circle. And this is a rectangle. This is a triangle. And this is square, sir. You know that all these figures are the plane figures. If we cut out these plane figures of the same shape and size from the cardboard sheet and stack them up in a vertical pile, we shall obtain some solid figures such as a cuboid, a cylinder, etc. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Find the surface area of a cuboid. Find the surface area of a cube. Find the surface area of a right circular cylinder. Find the surface area of a right circular cone. Find the surface area of a sphere. Surface area of a cuboid. Students, look at these things. A book, a matchbox, a brick. All these are the examples of a cuboid. A cuboid is a solid formed by joining the corresponding vertices of two congruent rectangles such that the lateral edges are perpendicular to the planes containing the congruent rectangles. We can see that the cuboid has six surfaces and each one is congruent and parallel to the one opposite to it. We already know that the area of a rectangle is the product of its length and breadth, that is, L into B is equal to area. Therefore, the surface area of a cuboid is the sum of the areas of all its faces, which is equal to 2 into length into breadth, plus breadth into height, plus length into height, where L, B and H are respectively the three edges of the cuboid. Surface area of a cube. A cube is a special case of cuboid when all the edges are equal. That is, L is equal to B, which equals H, which is equal to area. If each edge of the cube is A, then the surface area of this cube would be 2 into A into A plus A into A plus A into A. Or we can write it as 6A square. Lateral surface area. Lateral surface area in a solid is the sum of the surface areas of all its faces excluding the base of the solid. Lateral surface area of cube is 4A square. And the lateral surface area of cuboid is 2LH plus 2BH or 2 into L plus B into H. Example let us solve some examples now. Find the total surface area in meter square of a cuboid 8 meter long, 4 meter broad and 2 meter high. Solution. We know that the total surface area of a cuboid is equal to 2 into length into breadth plus breadth into height plus length into height. Therefore, by substituting the values of length and breadth and height, we get Total surface area of a cuboid, which is equal to 2 into 8 into 4 plus 4 into 2 plus 8 into 2, which is equal to 112 meters square. Example. Find the lateral surface area in meter square of a cube of side 12 meter. Solution. We know that, that the lateral surface area of a cube is equal to 4 into side square. Here, side given is 12 meter. Therefore, lateral surface area of cube is equal to 4 into 12 square, which equals 576 meter square. Surface area of a right circular cylinder. A cylinder 
is one of the most basic curvilinear geometric shapes. A right circular cylinder is a cylinder whose base is perpendicular to its sides. Facility equipment such as the gas cylinder, oil storage tanks and water storage tanks is often of this type. We get the curved surface area of a cylinder by a sheet of paper. When we roll it, we get a cylinder. So, curved surface area of the cylinder is equal to area of the rectangular sheet equals length into breadth is equal to perimeter of the base of the cylinder into h which equals 2 pi r into h. Therefore, curved surface area of a cylinder is equal to 2 pi r h. And now if we cover the top and the bottom of the cylinder, we get its total surface area. Total surface area of a cylinder is equal to area of circles plus curved surface area of cylinder. This is equal to 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h is equal to 2 pi r into r plus h, where h is the height of the cylinder and r its radius. Example, find the total surface area of right circular cylinder if its base has radius of 10 inches and its height is 17 inches. Solution, radius is equal to 10 inch and height is equal to 17 inch which is given. As we know that the value of pi is 3.14, now we have to find the total surface area. We know that formula for finding the total surface area of a cylinder is given by Total surface area of a cylinder is equal to 2 pi r into r plus h. Here r is the radius of a cylinder and h represents the height of a cylinder. On putting all the values in the given formula, we get lateral surface area of cylinder. So, the total surface area of a cylinder is equal to 2 pi r into r plus h. Total surface area equals 2 into 3.14 into 10 into 10 plus 17. Solving this, we get the total surface area as 1695.6 inch square. Surface area of a right circular cone. A right circular cone is a solid generated by the revolution of a right angled triangle about one of its sides containing the right angle as axis. In this figure, right triangle AOB revolves along AO to generate the cone of height h and radius r and slant height l is equal to ac. To find the total surface of a cone, let us cut it along its slant height and spread it into a sector abc. The curved portion of the figure is equal to perimeter of the base of the cone and the circumference of the base of the cone is equal to 2 pi r, where r is the base radius of the cone. Thus, curved surface area is equal to 1 upon 2 into radius AC into arc BC. This is equal to 1 upon 2 into L into 2 pi R equals pi R L square units, where R is the radius and L is the slant height. And slant height L is equal to square root R square plus H square. Since area of the base is pi R square, so total surface area is equal to pi R L plus pi r square is equal to pi r into l plus r. Example, solve the surface area of right cone for the given radius is 10 meter and slant height is 15 meter. Solution, radius and slant height which is 10 and 15 meter respectively have been given. We have to find the surface area. We know that surface area of cone is equal to pi r l into pi r l. Therefore, by substituting the values we get, surface area is equal to 3.14 into 10 into 10 plus 15. By solving this we get, surface area is 785. Therefore, surface area of right cone is 785 square meter. Surface area of a sphere a sphere is the locus of a point which moves in space such that its distance from a fixed point in space remains constant. The fixed point is called the center of sphere and the constant distance is called 
the radius of sphere. A sphere is like the surface of a ball. Surface area of a sphere is equal to 4 pi r square. A hemisphere is obtained by cutting a sphere into two equal halves by a plane passing through its center. Curved surface area of a hemisphere is equal to half the surface area of sphere. That is equal to 2 pi r square. Total surface area of a hemisphere is equal to 3 pi r square. Example. A spherical ball has a surface area of 2464 centimeters square. Find the radius of the ball correct to two decimal places using pi as 3.142. Solution. We know that surface area of sphere is equal to 4 into pi into r square. In order to find r, we need to isolate it from the equation above. Therefore, r square is equal to surface area upon 4 pi. R square is equal to 2464 upon 4 into pi. R square is equal to 196.054. R is equal to under root 196.054. R is equal to 14 centimeter. Hence, the radius of the ball is 14 centimeter. Did you know? Discovery of formulas of surface area led to measurement of the surface area of planets, buildings, etc. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Surface area of a cuboid is equal to 2 into LB plus BH plus HL. Surface area of a cube is equal to 6A square. Curved surface area of a cylinder is equal to 2 pi R H. Total surface area of a cylinder is equal to 2 pi R square plus 2 pi R H is equal to 2 pi R into R plus H. Curved surface area of a cone is equal to pi R L. Total surface area of a right circular cone is equal to pi r into l plus r. Surface area of a sphere of radius r is equal to 4 pi r square. Curved surface area of a hemisphere is equal to 2 pi r square. Total surface area of a hemisphere is equal to 3 pi r square.